What has between 5 and 40 arms has no-brainer blood and can be found in every ocean around the world? Why, the sea star, of course! There are nearly 2,000 species of sea star, ranging from warm tropical waters to the polar regions. Their interesting anatomy and unusual physiology make them a really popular animal to dissect in biology classes. And it's one of the many reasons that we created our 3D sea star model in visible biology. But we wanted to get up close and personal with some live specimens. And what better place to do that than at the New England Aquarium? The aquarium's team was excited to meet some fellow sea star enthusiasts, and they had us come in so we could ask a resident expert some in-depth, no pun intended, questions. My name is Jordan Baker. I work here at the New England Aquarium as an aquarist. I've been working with sea stars since the beginning, even before my career here at New England Aquarium as a volunteer and intern. The aquarium currently houses a dozen sea stars, and of those dozen species, we have nearly 200 individuals. They are from all over the world, some from the Australian Temperate Reef, Pacific Northwest, Caribbean Reef, Indo-Pacific Reef, and then here around New England. Even though these animals are commonly referred as starfish, sea stars is more accurate. In sea stars, we don't see gills or an internal vertebrae compared to fish. The water vascular system all starts with the madreporite, which is a sieve on the aboral surface of a sea star. From there, water enters a complicated system of hydraulics through a series of canals. First, it hits the stone canal, then the ring canal, and then our radial canals going out to the tips of each arm. From there, ampullae control the flow of water into the tube feet or water can exit the system. Otherwise, the water circulated back and can actually exit through the madreporite as well. A sea star can use its cardiac stomach and actually will push this out of its body cavity to consume prey that it otherwise couldn't, like clams, mussels, or other bivalves. The cardiac stomach is pliable and mobile it can fit into a space as small as one millimeter. A sea star's nervous system is different from most animals. The nervous system in most animals includes a central nervous system or mass of neurons. This isn't present in species of sea star. Instead, there's a neural network that follows the pattern of water vascular system in ring, radial, Again, that pentaradial symmetry. Sea stars can see, although it's not as developed as in humans or in other animals. They have rudimentary eyes at the tip of each arm. They can sense light and shadows and use this to navigate their habitat. Sea stars play a vital role in our ocean's ecosystems. They control the number of mussels, bivalves, clams, other mollusks, barnacles, and other prey items. This can shape the topography of your typical ecosystem, especially given their presence in tide pools. The sea stars play a vital role and are a keystone species in most habitats they are native to. They control the species in their community and food web, and without them existing in those food webs, the system is unbalanced and can lead to overpopulation of those other species. My favorite species of sea star is actually called the slime star. Terraster tessellatus is a star native to the Pacific Northwest in relatively deep regions, and it actually has a morphology or adaptation that will allow it to excrete a significant amount of mucus in the presence of a predator. My favorite fact about sea stars is the presence of collagenous tissue. This tissue is special because it allows the sea star to change their shape almost as if they're shape-shifting into corners or crevices. 
This gives them the unique ability to hold onto rocks or become more sheltered in an environment. With our dissectable sea star invisible biology, the real stars can stay in the ocean. To learn more about how our 3D animal structure and function models can enhance your dissection labs, contact our education team for a free trial. Special thanks to Jordan Baker and the New England Aquarium for their contributions to this video and for introducing us to their sea stars. To get up close and personal with their other deep sea residents and to explore their amazing exhibits, visit neaq.org.